Good evening, everyone. We begin with breaking news on a deadly murder rampage that has now come to an end. The man accused of killing six people over the course of five days is dead. Investigators believe that Dwight Jones killed himself after going on that killing spree that spanned through North Phoenix, Scottsdale and Fountain Hills. Police say the 56 year old killed himself at a North Scottsdale hotel. Police say Jones's first victim was forensic psychiatrist Stephen Pitt last Thursday. Since then, he's accused of killing two paralegals and another medical professional. Within the past hour or so, investigators are now linking two more deaths in Fountain Hills to the case. 12 News, the first to break into programming with that live news conference. We've got teams covering every single angle. So let's begin our team coverage tonight with Team 12's Bianca Bono. She's live out in Scottsdale with more new details. Bianca. Yeah, Mark Caribe police are now saying they believe this spree of murders was in connection to Jones's divorce, which his ex wife filed for about eight years ago. Now, two of the victims have not yet been identified, but we do know the first four victims are each in some way linked to that divorce. Now, as you mentioned, this all began last Thursday night when Dr. Stephen Pitt became Jones's first victim. Now, Stephen Pitt was a high profile forensic psychologist. Psychiatrist. That happened just outside his office near 71st Street and Greenway. Police say Pitt did a court ordered psychiatric evaluation of Jones during his divorce. On Friday, two paralegals, Valeria Sharp and Laura Anderson, they worked at the Burt Feldman Grenier law firm in Old Town where they were murdered. Now, Elizabeth Feldman was the attorney who represented Jones's ex wife during their divorce. Late Friday, night early Saturday morning we have the fourth victim Marshall Levine a counselor he was killed now he just happened to be subletting an office near Hayden and Mountain View Roads where Jones's son received therapy during the time of the divorce the divorce to, to be clear he never provided services to Jones's son he just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time now two more victims were found in a Fountain Hills home on Sunday they have not been identified yet Yet. Jones ultimately killing himself this morning during a standoff with police at an extended stay hotel. The last 96 hours, I believe, reflects one individual's actions that are the worst of humanity. And in that same time frame, I can tell you that the efforts of the men and women who stand with me as well as this community reflect the greatest attributes of society. Now, police say they received a tip Saturday night that linked Jones to the murders. It turns out that tip actually came from Jones's ex wife's new husband, who is a retired Phoenix police detective. Now, it's still unclear what motivated Jones to go on this violent rampage now, eight years after his ex wife filed for divorce. We do know his ex wife and his child are both safe. We're live in Scottsdale. Bianca Bono, 12 News. All right, Bianca. Thank you.